Hello guys, welcome to my new Genshin Impact video, guys. In this video, we are going to talk about the upcoming new Geo Sub DPS support character Shalonin. So I'm gonna talk about the top five five star weapon for Shalonin in detail. So stay tuned till the end, guys. Okay, let me just tell you a brief about Shalonin before talking about the weapons. She is truly based on the defense. So higher you having defense on Shalonin, higher she's gonna deal the damage on the field, and more benefit she's gonna be for your whole party in the elemental skill she just gives you elemental rest decreased when you activate the elemental skill of shilonin on the base of elemental types in your team she gives the elemental rest respectively and in the elemental burst she just gives you more healing the healing on the active character and deals damage and damages uh, if you talk about the damages of shilonin Shalon in damages is pretty pretty good, not bad. As for the sub DPS and support character, it's very very good. And if you wanna play uh, Shalon in as your main DPS or the sub DPS also means you want also wants to deal some damage on the field with Shalon in. Shalon in based off on the normal attacks and the plunge attacks in the in the state of elemental skill. When you activate the elemental skill, you can actually perform some kicks and the punches with. Shilonin, which will be count as normal attacks and she also does one or two plunge attack when finishing up her move in the end so yes she's based on the normal attack basically so now let's just talk about the number five weapon and we are going to start with the number five weapon of this list when you're starting with the number five weapon it's the primordial shade cutter it's not the ideal weapon it's not way near the being the ideal weapon for Shilonin, but it's a very good weapon. It's it's a weapon that can be used on any any character. It's giving you high 44.1% crit rate, 542 base attack, and in the in the refinement ability just gives you more HP, 20% more HP, and additionally giving you more attack on the base of your max HP. See, I already told you uh, she's based on defense and she's a support character, but this having a 44 crit rate and giving you a more attack is always beneficial for any character. If you have this weapon, you can try this weapon on Shilonen. I don't know how this weapon perf can be performed on, on Shilonen, but literally I have no other weapon to put on number 5. That's why I am putting this no weapon on number 5. It's the Primordial Shade Cutter. And one more weapon I want to talk about on the number 5, it's the Skyward Blade. Let's see if I have the Skyward Blade or no. Okay, it's a Skyward Blade. So on number five, I'm mentioning up the two weapons, not the only one weapon. I'm mentioning up the two weapons. First is Remodel Jade Cutter and second is the Skyward Blade. It's having a 608 base attack, 55.1% energy recharge. What interesting is the refinement ability. Crit rate is increased by 4%. Gain sky piercing might upon using an elemental burst. Increase movement speed by 10% and increase attack speed by 10%. And normal and charge attack hits deals additionally damage equals to 20% of the attack sky piercing will might last 12 seconds so if you have uh, this weapon skyward blade and if you have shilonin and if you combine this weapon with shilonin just imagine she's gonna be faster in the movement and in the attacks i just told you she does some kicks and punches and the plunge attack with the kick just imagine if that be increased by more speed by 10%, 10% means 20% more speed and it will be fun using this weapon on Shilonin. Just to fun mention Skyward Blade on number 5 and Primordial Jade Cutter on number 5 guys. So let's move on to the number 4. Okay on number 4 guys we have Harun Gepaku Futsu. It's a 5 star sword, it's a Kami Sato Ayato signature weapon. It's a Ayato signature weapon having 608 base attack, 33.1 crit rate. Everything is fine here till so far but the refinement ability is so so good obtain 12 percent all elemental damage bonus when the other nearby party members use his elemental skill the character equipping this weapon will gain one way spike stack max two stack can be achievable this way this effect can be triggered once every 0 0.3 second when the character equipping this weapon uses an elemental skill all the stack of will be consumed to gain rippling up healing each stack of waste by consume will be increased normal attack damage by 20%. Basically, it's giving you 40% extra normal attack damage and giving you 12% extra elemental damage bonus, which is 
insane. So if you are planning to use your Shillon in more of a sub DPS, this will be good. And if you are planning to use your Shillon as a DPS character, this would be the perfect weapon. Overall, if you are planning to use your Shillon in as a sub DPS and support also, this weapon will be a blast on Shillon in. So on number four, guys, we have Harun Gepaku Futsu. Hi right, guys, on number 3 we have Lights of Foliar Incision. It's a El Hatham signature weapon guys. And it's a pretty good weapon also. It has a similar functioning to what I just explained about the Ayato signature weapon. But with crit damage this time. This giving you 88.2% crit damage. That is the one of the highest crit damage in the game. With the 542 base attack. And the primary ability is pretty much same. But this time it's giving you 4% critted here. After normal attack deals elemental damage, the foliar incision effect will be obtained, increasing the damage dealt by normal attack and the elemental skill by 120% of elemental mastery. This effect will disappear after only 28 damage instincts or 12 seconds. You can obtain foliar incision at 170 uh, 12 seconds. So, guys, I'm mentioning this weapon on third number. Is because of the crit damage that this weapon is giving 88.2% crit damage is insane and every character even when we are not building the character on the base of elemental mastery uh gonna have um elemental mastery around 100 to 150 so you can trigger actually trigger that uh refinement effect also and this weapon is also giving you four percent crit rate so guys it's a pretty good weapon not the uh you know was weapon but yeah it's a pretty good weapon 88.2 percent crit damage gonna be gonna play a very important role when you play shillon on the field as sub dps also so on number three guys we have light of foliar in c all right guys on number two we have uraku misugiri uraku misugiri is a signature weapon of a geo sword character just shiori so shiori is also a geo sword dps sub dps character it's not she's not a support character she's a proper dps character but this time we're getting the same 88.2% crit damage and 542 base attack. But the refinement ability is just matches with the kit of Shilonin. So if you want to use your Shilonin as DPS character, DPS character or sub DPS, this weapon is just perfect. Normal attack damage increased by 16%. Elemental skill damage is increased by 24% after a nearby character deals geo damage. And affirmation effect is increased by 100% so you have to use one uh, a geo character with Shironin which is obvious we have to use two geo character together to make a effect on the field so just uh, in this is insane guys you're getting a hundred percent increase means you're getting a, a around 32 percent normal attack damage increase and almost 40, 20 48 Percent elemental skill damage increase, which is amazing. Additionally, the wielder defense increased by 12, 20%. And additionally, uh, Shilonin getting extra 20% defense, which I just told you that Shilonin is purely based on the defense. So she's getting no a normal attack damage bonus, which is also very beneficial. She's getting elemental skill damage bonus, which is also very beneficial, and getting 20% extra uh, defense, which is also insane. So on number two guys, Uraku Misugiri, which is the, like one of one of the perfect weapon for uh, Shilonin. If you don't want to go for the signature weapon of Shilonin. Hi right, guys, on number one we have the Peak Patrol song. It's the signature weapon for Shilonin, and it's a purely purely support weapon, not a sub DPS or DPS weapon. So if you want to use your Shilonin as a support, or sorry, as a DPS or sub DPS weapon, this is not the weapon for Shilonin. Base attack is 542 and defense is 82.7%. So as this weapon is not giving any crit crit damage. So this weapon is clearly not for the DPS Shilonin. But Shilonin is a support DPS character, sub DPS and support character. So that makes sense. Defense is, defense is 82% that is pretty much very very high. And she ha gonna have lots of benefit from this defense percentage. Refinement gain or two floors after normal or plunge attack hits an opponent. Defense is increased by 8% and gain a 10% all elemental damage bonus for 6 second max check is true means you can gain 16% defense here and with the 
और आपको मिस हो गई ऑन द नंबर टू नंबर टू वेपन यू आर ऑलरेडी गेनिंग ट्वेंटी परसेंट डिफेंस ट्वेंटी परसेंट डिफेंस विच इज इवन बेटर बट यस कैन ट्रेक यू वन पर जीरो पॉइंट वन सेकेंड वन दिस इफेक्ट रीच इज टू चेक्स और द सेकेंड चेक ड्यूरेशन इज रीफ्रेश इंक्रीज ऑल नियर बाई पार्टी मेम्बर ऑल एलिमेंटल डैमेज बोनस बाई एट परसेंट फॉर एवरी थाउजेंड डिफेंस इन विच वे यू कैन गेन मैक्सिम ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स परसेंट एलिमेंटल डैमेज बोनस तो येस दिस वेपन इज प्योरली फॉर द सपोर्ट सो इफ यू गेट दिस वेपन यू ऑल्सो गेट दी ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट एक्स्ट्रा एलिमेंटल डैमेज बोनस फॉर योर होल्ड पार्टी मेम्बर फॉर योर होल्ड टीम तो येस गाइज ऑन नंबर वन वी हैव पीक पेट्रोल सॉन्ग विच इज़ अ प्योर सपोर्ट वेपन फॉर शिलोन एन सो इफ यू गेट द शिलोन एन शिलोन एन इज वेरी पावरफुल सपोर्ट कैरेक्टर सम आर सेंग दैट हिज हर बफ सॉरी हर बफ गोइंग टू बी वेरी सिमिलर टू वॉट काजुआ डज एंड हर हीलिंग इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी सिमिलर टू वॉट बैनेट डज बट बैनेट इज लिमिटेड टू अ सर्टेन एरिया सर्टेन यू नो ए ओ वी but shilonen is not limited to any area or any aoe she just applies the effect on the active character and wherever that active character moves or go the effect the buff the healing goes with her or him so hey guys this is my list on number 5 i mentioned the two weapons primordial jade cutter and skyward blade on number 4 i mentioned the haran gepaku futsu on number 3 i mentioned the light of foliar incision on number 2 i mentioned the uraku misugiri and on number 1 is the peak petrol song so this is my list maybe this list is wrong in your opinion if you think that i said something wrong I, or i mentioned any really wrong weapon in this list you can comment below guys and if you want to know anything about the jinxing event you can also ask in the comment section if you like the video hit the like button and if you want to see more genshin daily videos in the future you can hit the subscribe button guys we'll meet in the next video guys till then bye bye take care